All right, today we're using Dust Kit. I have used Dust Kit before, but this is a new Dust Kit. It is a pure nimble one. Now, now I forgot to TP train it. Give me a while. All right, we're back. I have TP trained up Dust Kit here. I'm going max range attack and max speed with pure nimble. And we have four energy, which should get us to 265. In battle, we're only level 33 here. Also, I won the last battle. The dude forfeited after uh, I made some really good plays with Seer Knight and Stratosaur. So that was really fun. Uh, speaking of Seer Knight and Stratosaur, they're absolutely coming this battle. The thing is, I'm not sure what else I want to bring. I think Sinogre's a good lead. But I also really want to bring Imperior. I think Imperior is also a good bring. And I'm thinking about doing it over Cosmire, but Cosmire has a lot of offensive potential this battle. That's a huge problem on this team, actually. Tyrex. How am I gonna do a Tyrex? I think we actually lead off with Stratosaur, then not bring Sinogre, and instead bring Imperior, and have Duskin deal with a few things. As for Phage Knot, I'm not too sure. Phage Knot's like kinda mid this battle. It's not amazing, honestly. I don't think I should bring it. Gobbydemic's the lead. Alright, what did I leave inside the Stratosaur, right? So Stratosaur can absolutely deal with the Gobbydemic, because of course we have Gus. Metal Blast does more damage. I'm not sure why I clicked Jet Stream, but it's okay. Alright, he just goes for Barbs. So he's probably gonna go for Provoke at some point. Let's see, what's he gonna do here? I'm gonna go for Metal Blast. Let's see, does he Provoke? He does. Alright, I made the right call. So we limit him to one layer of Barbs, and we can Gust later if we need to. Let's see, what's gonna come in? Tyrex will probably be worst case scenario because I won't be able to break its scapegoat with this. And he'll, so he'll get a free scapegoat while I switch. And I didn't bring Sumo Vito. So that's pretty scary. Tatab. Wait, Tatab? Okay, I could absolutely stay in here. And I would love to. I want to go into Duskit. But I'm worried about Timber Frash. Tatab's not a friend at all on this team. Everyone here can friend Tatab in one way or another. Uh, I could go Duskit. I really think I, I think we just try it. If it doesn't work out, we just move to the next battle. Let's see. Does he go for the Timber Frash? He does. Dang it. Dang it. Okay, Duskin in this battle looks good. But first off, I'm not stopping it on a time time. Second, they have a Cephalops. That's going to be a big obstacle for a Duskin. I'm not too sure how we're going to break Cephalops in general with the team. I think the team I brought was honestly really bad. There's a lot of issues with the team I brought, but hey, I'm acknowledging that. So that should give me some points, right? All right this is gonna be tough. This is gonna be really difficult. I think I just lead off with Phage Knot. I think we lead off with Phage Knot, and then we just go in. <laughs> Let's try. Let's try. How bad, Nick? Okay, I could try switching the Dusk Kid on into this. But I think I'm actually gonna go for a pivot. If he goes into the tap tap, I can taste it. Okay, I outspeed it. So that gives me a general sense of what set it's running. I'm gonna go straight into Dusk Kid. I don't care if it's a ranged defense, a very clever bulk up set. No, I guess. Alright, so that is a lot of damage. This better KO. Okay, good. So hey, Dusk Kid picked up one kill. That's nice. That's nice. I'll take it. So it's not boot top I think. Interesting. Cephalops should come in next, and I'm not gonna like it. Pyrolin. Should I just go for the damage? I feel like I could survive one hit from Pyro. Oh, but Shrewd Blast, right. If he goes for Shrewd Blast, we're gonna take quite a bit more damage. I don't really wanna swap, so I guess I'll just let Duskin do damage. I know for showcase videos, a lot of YouTubers do their best to get footage for the Lumion they're showcasing, but really, I, I don't... First off, I don't have the time for that. I want to put out as many videos as possible. And I'm actually making a scripted video for Plants vs. Zombies. I'm ho I hope you guys are okay with all the Plants vs. Zombies content. I really like that game. Sorry to the sorry to those of you that don't like it. Clearly, clearly, you some of you don't like it as much because I they don't get as many views. I'm not trying to revolve my channel around that. But I wasn't trying to re revolve my channel around Lumion Legacy. My channel. But the goal for my channel when it started was to be a bunch of games, kind of like the noodles in the past, like Minecraft, Pokemon, Roblox, Plant vs. Zombies, Bloons Tower Defense, Clash of Clans. 
<laughs> I don't play Clash of Clans anymore. I still play Clash Royale on my phone just every now and then for fun. Is that tap tap? Don't be tap tap. Because this time I can't live it. It's actually wind tricks. Which I outspeed unless these boots are very nimble. I don't understand the wind trick. Is it boots are very nimble or am I getting my speed tiers mixed up? Face not out speed wind tricks, right? I'm not being stupid, right? I'm max speed nimble. Yeah, no, I have speed with Oh, the speed UPs! I'm an idiot, I forgot! I don't have max UPs! Oh no, that was actually a really bad blunder. Okay, well at least now Cosmire comes in. It's always it's guaranteed getting a good ability. Awakening or resentful would be awesome. So I'm just gonna take this Wintrix out. If he swaps into Pyrolin, I hopefully can deal with it. Please kill. I don't think I kill though. Oh, I do kill. It was a fire essence. Okay. So the Pyrolin is down. I still have Seer Knight to deal with the Wintrix later. What else is gonna come out? What else did he have? He had Luminami and Cephalops. Is Cephalops weak to Flame again? Okay, I know you're weak to Searing Steel. Do I want to do this though? I guess I'll weaken it. I guess I'll go for the Searing Steel to weaken it. Tsunami. It outspeeds me. That is a fast Luminami. That's gonna hurt. Ow! Ow! How do I check Windtrix now? Wait, how do I deal with Windtrix if it has Air Blade or Mud Spatter? Oh no. Okay, I got a burn, but it's not the melee Luminami. Oh no. Swapping probably isn't as worth it. I could try going into Cosmire for no reason. I could try. This is an offensive Luminami, clearly. So we're gonna go into Cosmire, resist the Tsunami. Or Maroon? Wait, you're running both? Why? Okay, there we go. We're gonna go into Will Smith. Now, let's see. Do I KO it? It's offensive. Come on, I have to do it. Cerebral Slash, please kill. I know I'm running the Ancient Essence and not the Mind Essence or Power Cuffs. What did he go into? Tap. Tap. Oh. Is it boots tap tap or something? And it's just trying to get damage on me? No. It's not even nimble. I just realized nimble outspeed me. Either that is just really trash nimble. The wind tricks outsped me earlier. I have no idea what to do about the wind tricks. If Seer Knight can't handle it, we're in tr we're we really are in trouble. I think I'll try and surrogate Awakening. That should allow us to kill Luminami, I think. Let's see, Brain Freeze. Do I get two shots? It's super close. I think, I think, I live another hit if it gets the same roll. Ah, oh, it does have Air Blade. That's fine, though. I can go into either Imperior or Cosmire. I think we definitely go into Cosmire, though, because I want Cosmire to go get the uh, Awakening ability. Imperior probably would be better if it wasn't for surrogate. I think we win now, though. I think we win. Imperior just wins, even if Cosmire goes down to Luminami, which I have no idea how it's po it would be possible for it to. But who knows? Maybe it'll rejuvenate and after surviving Cerebral Splash somehow. Like a defensive, offensive Luminami, which is really stupid. So it's hopefully he's not that. And we kill Luminami. Awesome. All right, on to the next battle. Whew, that was tough. Huh. Full Roma team plus Obsidian. Which I mean, like, that's a really strong Lumion, so. Eh. Okay, so Duskit could do work, but again, a freaking Cephalops. I'm actually gonna go lead with the Duskit. We're gonna try leading with it and try and just have the entire team deal with Cephalops. Everybody just work together to, oh, to handle Cephalops. I think I bring this team. It's really tough to decide what I want. I think I gotta go Fate Dog, because Maya is so strong in this game. Honestly, our team does look really good. I, I, uh, I think we can swap out Sinogre. I think I can afford to swap Sinogre out. Right? Gargolem is the lead. Alright, Duskin. I brought Stratosaur as my Gargolem counter, but I guess you're doing it now. now I'm going to go for Dark Search for the flinch chance. We don't care about how much damage we do, because we're going to two-shot a Gargolem no matter what. It actually outsped me, and that's going to hit a lot harder. I should have Psycho Blasted. Because this isn't gonna come close to killing it, I think. Never mind, it was actually pretty close, but I don't care. We're going Stratosaur now. 
All right, well, oh, did he read me? No, because I handled Dust Kid. So our Golem has fit me, so we know that's Max Speed Nimble. What do I do about the Dust Kid? I really want to go back into my home Dust Kit. I'm gonna go for Metal Blast, Phantom, oh, Melee Dust Kid, that's cool. Melee Dust Kid is actually pretty fun. And another Metal Blast should KO here. I need to keep, I probably should be keeping Strasser healthier for the Gargolem though, because now I probably can't hard swap into it. I probably can't do a hard switch, so I had to sack something before I go into Strat, and then Perch. So that kind of sucks, okay, although he just goes back into Gargolem straight. Am I missing something? The slap down KO me or something? There's no way anything else kills me, right? Gargolem doesn't load a fire move. Or an electric move. He swaps again, so I get free damage on something. It's the Mutagon. I'll take free da- I'll break Mutagon's tank. And I'm gonna switch into Duskit here. And go for a Spectral Burst. That actually did a lot- That- That did a lot for a tank- For a tank. Like, that would have done twice as much if it wasn't for pay. So that was like half. Mega punch, don't care. And now we go for Spectro Burst, and that's gonna be fun. So Spectro Burst is gonna KO Mutagon here. Hey, Duskit's doing some, Duskit is doing some work. I like it. We always go. Actually, no, 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 no. We don't go back into the Strat. Sorry, I forgot. Strat, Strat's low. Strat is low. We cannot go into Strat. I gotta find something else to go into. What do I do about it? Let's see. Oh, Cephalops. What's the last Lumion? Oh, Sidragon. Alright, so that means I don't really need Duskit anymore. So I could sack it. Yeah, I'll just sack Duskit. Duskit, you've done well. We can let Duskit go down now. It's alright. Hypnotize. First off, you're using Hypnotize, which means you're stupid. But second, I'm a mind type. So he's actually, he, he's genuinely stupid. Did I even kill? Oh wait, that's neutral, right? It does kill. So, I think I just go Phage Knot here. And then Power Draw. And once the Zygodon comes in, we flash and flee. Right? This should kill the Cephalops. The Cephalops is down. Critical hit doesn't matter, I think. I'm Electric Essence as well. I'm not max range attack. I max health, but I think... I I think that didn't matter. Obsidian absolutely comes in now, doesn't it? Oh, I don't know how I forgot about this. Well, I mean, if he's going for an Earth move, I have Stratosaur, and I still have Imperior in the back. So we're just gonna go into Strat, and we're gonna be immune to Earthquake. And I'm just gonna Metal Blast and probably win with Stratosaur. Like, Stratosaur might not win on its own, but it could get close. It should get close. If he hard swap to Obsidian, then he's absolutely doomed. <laughs> There's no way you can hard swap into that. Right. Right. Come on. Come on. He's really just thinking. Dude, you don't even think so much. You lose. He waits. He's. <laughs> okay. Metal Blast it is. I'll kill Garg. Garg is dead. Alright, what's next? Obsidian. Metal Blast is gonna do very nice damage. Let's see, do I Oko the Obsidian? No shot do I Oko Obsidian. I get that I max range attack and smart. But no shot do I one shot Obsidian, right? And I I just realized there's no shot he can kill me either unless he crits a body crash. Or maybe like drudges and then Mega Chomps me down. That's the only way I see him beating me with Obsidian. Which I'm almost certain he can't. So I'll take this. Goodness, Strasser's a really annoying Lumion. I hate fighting him. It's super annoying. I haven't fought one in a long time, but it's super annoying when you do fight one. I love using Strasser, it's so good. Should I just get back to you guys when he makes his move? I guess I will. There are three seconds, two seconds, one second. Wow, this guy really just. Okay, yep, he lost. Alright, I hope you all enjoyed this video, guys. Leave a like, everybody. Subscribe. Let me know what you want to see me do in the future. And have a good day, everybody.